If you're a fan of Ryobi Tools or Milwaukee IA Tools, I got some new releases for you today. And I think it's pretty exciting. So if you're in these platforms or looking to get into these platforms, you want to stick around uh, because, you know, they keep innovating. They keep coming out with new tools. It's, it's every week. They got multiple tools for both brands, you know, Milwaukee, Ryobi. They, I, I don't think they sleep over there. You know, that's real nice, like, if you're in that platform. So let's go with Ryobi first. Then we're going to move it over to a Milwaukee IA. And we're going to look at that new tool that was just announced. But before we do, I got to ask you a question. Listen, this this channel, we can't afford to give away islands or do 53 different squirrel mazes and all that good stuff. If you're a regular viewer or a new viewer and you like power tools, maybe today is the day that I earn your subscription and maybe a smish on that like button. You know, it helps the video out. YouTube, I'm just being honest with you. YouTube, if you like tool videos, YouTube's not going to push these videos out to you because they're not getting paid as much as you would if you're Mr. Beast. So if you like these videos, you want to continue seeing these power tools and, and what we're able to bring you, smash that like button, share this out, get subscribed, and I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'm just being honest with you. So let's move it to the first tool. All right, so the Ryobi link system is pretty popular. You know, you got that wall storage system and we, we did a video on this channel for it and I really like it, built very well. Then Ryobi came out with their new tool boxes and, you know, they're built very well. And what's nice about this is it seems like they're adding on to this platform, which I was hoping they would do. So the first tool that we're looking at for Ryobi, not Ryobi, is the one gallon, it's a portable Ryobi link, it's accessible, not accessible, but it's you're able to attach this to your Ryobi link toolbox. So let me show you a closer review and I'll give you the specs on this. Uh, so price, you're looking at $79 uh, for the wet one gallon vacuum by itself. And if you're getting it with the bat rate for AH lithium battery, uh, this is 129. All right, let's look at some pictures right here. And I can see that I already screwed up. So here's the one gallon vacuum. And I'll tell you how I screwed up here in a second. But you got the handle right there. You got your tool storage right there. Wet, dry, vac. What I like about this, extremely portable. You know, you're doing your cars, you know, your garage, your shops, whatever. The battery goes up on top. There's your on and off. There's your, you know, your tool storage right there. You got a couple clamps. You can open that up, empty it out. Your filter is going to go in there. There's the back view right here. But what I really like about this is that it, it'll work with that Ryobi link storage system. You hang that on the wall. And I think that's really, really cool. Um, I really do like this system. And again, you can see a couple more pictures. But what's cool about this, and again, you can see it just hanging on the wall right there. I do like that. I like it a lot. Um, but check this out. So there's your one gallon vac, but they also have a three gallon vac right here. And they got, they got more coming, but three gallon vac. So if you want it a little bit bigger, the battery goes on top. Three gallon, your tools over here. You got the hose storage right there. Um, they already had a three gallon, I believe. Uh, but this looks like an updated version of that. I never really had any issues, but this is the Ryobi Link system compatible. So if you have this system, you're thinking about getting into the Ryobi Link system, that's real nice like. It's good to see that they are moving forward with more tools. And again, this also can go on your Link system, your wall storage system, which is actually really built very well. I like the system. Let's keep going. I got a couple other pictures for you right here. Uh, but yeah, you can hook this up to your, your saw. But check this out. This is the new one right here. I believe this is the six gallon wet dry vac. So three new vacuums announced today. Now they already had a version of this, but this must be an updated version. Again, we got specs and we'll move it over to the Milwaukee IA tools. But you know, this is your larger, more powerful vacuum. It takes one bat ray. Wish it would have taken two, give a little bit more extra run time, but it takes the one uh, let's see here. So you do got your extensions, you got your hoses, larger job cleanup. So six gallons right there. You got your casters right here. You got two larger wheels right here. So it's, you know, able to maneuver with you. So, okay, cool. All right. So let me show you this video that they sent over and then we'll, we'll talk about, you know, the pricing and the specs on those other Introducing two. Introducing the go. new lineup of Three Ryobi ones. 18 volt one plus wet dry vacuums with the cordless convenience of the OnePlus system designed to keep you moving. Delivering the power you need where you need it and accessories that ensure you have the right tool for the job from dry to wet and everything in between.
compatible with the Link Modular Storage System to ensure these vacuums stack up and clean up in any environment without compromising power, compatibility, convenience, or runtime. With a compact design for ultimate portability, this lineup is ready to go anywhere and do anything. From cleaning off to cleaning up, the new lineup of Ryobi 18-volt OnePlus wet-dry vacuums, all part of the OnePlus system, exclusively at the Home Depot. Don't be jealous of those move, my friends. I can't, I can't do that anymore. I get very dizzy. All right, so as promised, let's take a look at some of the specs. So there's a specification. So you're looking at 45 CFM for this is the one gallon and 40 inches of water. You got five foot worth of hose and it's the one and a quarter round uh, blower port. All that good stuff. I'm just going to scroll down through this. There's the HEPA filters and all that good stuff. The foam filters, the standard filters. You can pause this video, rewind this video. You can also buy different accessories for this right here. Three-year manufacturer warranty, crevice tool, all that good stuff. So there you go. Let's scroll down. This is the three gallon. So again, it's going to be a little bit more powerful. Uh, 129 for the vacuum by itself, but you're looking uh, with a kit, the 4AH, Bat Ray, you're looking at 179. These are the model numbers right here. I don't even know if they're out on the website yet. If they are, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but it's a three gallon, three year warrant. Ah, uh, let's scroll down here, 50 CFM. So a little bit more powerful. I thought it would have been a little bit more than that. I think the other one was about 45. So this is 50. So this one comes with the six foot, one and a quarter round hose. Uh, here's all your filters and all the good stuff. Three year warrant. Ah, and then uh, you can see this. So just pause the video. What is that? 280 core. Okay, so yeah, very big system. And this is the larger one right here. So obviously it's going to be more powerful. Uh, right here, 149 for the tool only, 199 for the 4 age back ray. Uh, and then let's look at the three year warranty, the same as before, 80 CFM. So significantly, is that the right word? I don't know. Whatever. 80 CFM and 36 inches. And you got these seven foot long one and seven eighth inch hose. So these are probably going to just take your standard filters if you have a rigid back, you know, or those filters are all going to fit in here, I would assume. That's real nice, like, you know, they come out with three new vacuums. Two of them are the Ryobi Link Accessible. And I said, why do I keep saying that? Not accessible. Compatible. Compatible. Let's move it to the Milwaukee. So Milwaukee, just like. Ryobi, not Ryobi, that, I'm telling you, it's like every week they're coming out with new tools. And, you know, the trades Milwaukee is very focused in on. So this one here is not going to be for everybody. It's not going to be for me as well. Uh, but it is one key compatible. What is it? You are looking at the brand new. There you go. If you're a lineman, you're going to like this. Milwaukee provides lineman the easiest way to make uniform crimps. Uh, you know, $299.99. So $29.99 is like... $3,000 for the kit. What do you get with this? Well, you know, let's look at the video. Hopefully there's some rock and roll in this so Milwaukee here. Tool, they have made it a mission to come out with a line of tools for utility workers. So I was really impressed with the six ton latch crimper, the ease of how it went on the wire, moved up and down when you made presses. You don't have to have a lot of space to get the tool latched on to make your crimps on the splices. The inline design worked a little better than a pistol grip. You don't have the back of the body encroaching on minimum approach distance with your phases. When you have tight quarters, being able to make your crimp, that's a big thing. Being able to get in position a lot easier to make the crimp. You don't have to worry about pinching other conductors in the press whenever you go to make a press. The latch on the crimper is easy to use until you just lift up, slide, pull the trigger. The latch worked smooth. It was real flawless. Whether you're in a uh, overhead or in the trench, you know, it feels real safe to just open it up, slide it on, goes on easy, and that click lets you know that it's locked. It actually secures the tool onto the line with that latch mechanism. It did provide a straight uniform crimp, able to just push a button. Didn't put as a lot of strain on me and I was able to concentrate more on keeping a straight press. Whether it's an H tap or a sleeve that you're pressing, you don't have to worry about trying to get that back in the grooves uh, because the tool is already latched on there. Once I see that green light, I know that the press is done, it's tight. It was a lot easier to use and didn't leave a lot of flashings behind. But I feel comfortable using it, you know, definitely gonna make my job easier. I'll be a whole lot happier in the bucket having Milwaukee tools in, in the bucket with me. I can't read all this Milwaukee. I, hey, there's so many words. 
All right, I'm going to scroll down through this real slow, and you can pause this video. Let's make sure that like button gets subscribed. Hit the bell notification. Share this video out with all your friends, and you can read through this it's just like me. And here's your specification. Listen, I'm not alignment. I ain't climbing no poles. I don't like heights. It's scary. Very scary. Here you go. So, listen, if you're alignment, you might be loving this. If you're not, maybe not so much. Either or, I hope you enjoyed this video. We bring you videos multiple times a week. We really try our best over here. Well, I do anyway. This is just me. You know, so get subscribed if you can. If you like power tools, we bring them to you multiple times a week. So check out these videos. I got them all over the place. We'll be back with more videos soon.